the Dirty River Boys. And Marco Gutierrez from the Dirty River Boys joins us right now. Marco, what is going on, man? Yeah, so nothing much. Just, uh, you know, having a, having a good time. Just here in Radio Land. <laughs> <laughs> well, welcome to Radio Land. You've been uh, busy with uh, In Studio Land and performing Live Land for a while now. How are things going hey, with the band, man? We haven't been to Abilene in a while. Yeah, we haven't been. Uh, we haven't been back. We're really excited to to, to finally get back. Uh, it feels like we've been uh, in on the road land for about <laughs> twenty years of our lives. So. You know, it's always good to get back to a, a city that we enjoy playing in, and, you know, we're real excited about that. Yeah, uh, one of the things that I keep on trying to tell people or make people understand, if you haven't seen the Dirty River Boys live, then you're missing out on something because it's it really is an experience the way that you guys uh, gel together, the way that you guys put your music together, and I think just the general professionalism that's involved while we still get a good party while you guys are on stage. I mean, it's a great yeah. combination of everything, and, and you guys put it all together and bring it to y your show all the time, I guess, right? Yeah, yeah. We, you know, we always try and give it 110% every time we play. And uh, it's, it's not that the CDs are, uh, you know, bad. They're just different. And I think that it's a different aspect of us, what we can do in the studio as opposed to what we do live. And, you know, we hear that so many times. You really need to see them live to get it. So... Yeah, if if that if that can entice any of you folks out there to come out, please let it. Yeah, <laughs> there you go. <laughs> it, very well said. As a matter of fact, it just seems like you know there are certain bands you know, you you can do a great album, you can put together a great CD, but to get the full understanding or the full experience of a band like you guys, you really do have to see the show live. And I think that seeing the show live helps me even appreciate your studio work even better. Is that yeah, possible? yeah, and it's all it's all kind of well, one big cycle. Although, uh, as you said earlier, we were in Studio Land uh, earlier this this winter, and this new album that's coming out, I think it's the closest we've gotten to replicating that that live energy while keeping it polished in a studio. So, we have no release date for the new album, but just you know to get the word out there, there is one coming this year. All right, awesome, and it features the new single, right? No, actually, that, you know, that single is just going to kind of be, uh, it's going to kind of float on its own for a while, and maybe it'll make an appearance on a, a bonus disc at one point or another, but yeah, Desert Wind is kind of, yeah, its own its own single at the moment. All right, well, and, and that's been released, there has already been a release date, so we can talk a little bit more about that, too. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, Desert Wind is uh, out there on iTunes along with uh, all of our older albums, yeah. Talk a little bit about the single. Uh, we were talking off the air how it seems to really be one of those songs that works nicely on the radio. Yeah, definitely. You know, I'll give it to man. Nino can write. He can write the radio hits. Man, that's what I, I envy his uh, ability to just have a good hook in a song and, you know, not make it, it you know, cheesy. I think that's what. A lot of uh, bad radio, um, yeah, a lot of bad music on the radio is just, it's real catchy, but it's real cheesy. And, you know, I, the, the reason I love playing this song live, and, you know, I'm glad that we finally got it, you know, on, a, on an MP3, is that it's, it's, it's a catchy song, but it's, it's, a, it's, it's still, there's still some heart in it, you know? That makes perfect sense. Yeah, don't, don't get me wrong. I'm not trying to say that it's a song that blends in with everything else that's on the radio. It just... Oh, you know, no. I mean, it, yeah, it, it, I, yeah, God, we, we try our hardest to not blend in with, <laughs> with anyone these days. <laughs> yeah. Now, there, it, there are a few good ones out there. No, I'm not going to shoot every single... No, there's, there's a bunch of great music, all the music y'all are playing, and <laughs> a bunch of good music coming, coming out of Texas these days. Right, right. Yeah, and for anybody to really fully understand uh, that you try not to blend in, uh, you really need to see a live show again. <laughs> so. Yeah, I think, well, you know, when we said uh, earlier off the year, we try and hit as many genres as humanly possible in our shows and on our albums. <laughs> yeah. Marco Gutierrez of the Dirty River Boys joining us here on Keen 105. Marco, with regard to the band... You know, I was a little surprised, actually. The first time I got a chance to even listen to your music, I actually saw you live. And nice. you got a dude on an upright bass. You got a dude sitting on a box. There's uh, some some aesthetically yeah, interesting components to your... <laughs> your yeah, there's some, there, we try and keep uh, the instrumentation pretty uh, unique. And, uh, you know, it, it's kind of... 
it's kind of cool seeing something other than an electric bass and a and your standard drum set on stage, all electric guitars. It's a little bit of a change from the current live show pace, but you know, it's it's just that's just us doing our thing. But you do it like nobody else in the whole wide yeah. world. Yeah. Um, oh, well, thank you, man. We we appreciate that. Let's uh, kind of look forward to the new album. I mean, have you got any other details other than it's done? And it's probably going to hit on as many genres as possible. <laughs> yeah, you know, with the last one, it was pretty. Uh, it was it was pretty multi genre if that's even a word. Yeah, it but is this now. One, I mean, there's a uh, we have uh, we have a few straight up rock and roll songs that I think could fly on rock radio. Mm-hmm. We have a few, um, you know, just singer songwriter acoustic kind of what we used to do on our first couple of records. Now we have a CJ has a Celtic sounding Irish song, and it's it's. Again, completely all over the board, but like I said, it's it's closer to capturing that live show energy that we try and give out. How do you go, yeah. I mean, is there anything that you do to be able to capture that? Do you think that, well, that some of it we, we, is probably just being with your bandmates long enough to it, let it gel, or is there something more to it than that? It definitely, well, capturing it in the studio, we had a killer producer, his name's Frenchie Smith, I uh, hear in Austin, mm. And his and his energy in the studio was unlike anything I've ever seen in a studio. I felt like I was at a rock show with the way he was pumping his fist and <laughs> jumping off chairs and kick drums. It was, it was awesome. <laughs> that definitely helped bring out the the energy in the studio <laughs> from the producer. All right, I like yeah. that. Yeah, <laughs> nice, nice. I got to meet this Frenchy guy and see if we can have oh, cold beers or something. He's a, a character man, and he will he's. Just good vibes and positive energy. It's it's contagious. So you, you can't help you can't help but be in there and want to make great music and give it all you got. Yeah, yeah. Marco Gutierrez of Dirty River Boys joining us here on the Keen One Hundred and Five Afternoon Show. Um, now you mentioned already a couple of times you're you're in Austin right now. Uh, El Paso is home though, isn't it? Am I wrong? Am I just stupid? Uh, yeah, we, we uh, you know we always say we're from El Paso because that's where the roots of the band are. We love El Paso, we love our city, but we're currently based out of Austin, mm-hmm. but the roots are always going to be El Paso. All right, you just, it's probably, there are a few more places to play in Austin, I'm sure. <laughs> yeah, yeah, there are a few more places to play in Austin, you don't have to drive nine hours to play, you know, anywhere, Yeah, not like you. you do when you live in El Paso. I hear you, I hear you. Um, anything down the road that we're going to look forward to, other than, you know, the new album, uh... I can't wait till an actual date gets set on that, but um, yeah, you know, no, me too. Believe me. As far We've been as sitting on it long enough, right, right. I bet, I bet you're really anxious to be able to share that with your fans. Um, yeah. What, what, what else? Is there anything else that you got coming up, or do we just get to you know keep in tune or uh, keep checking in with the website and find out what's going on? Yeah, with the yeah. Keep, there's a that is, I mean, hands down the biggest thing that we're all kind of waiting on. Um, the album release that is uh other than that yeah no we're just on the road just about every every weekend every week this summer and the fall dates are starting to fill up so we yeah we're just hitting it as hard as we always do all right cool uh marco gutierrez of the uh, dirty river boys the show's coming up friday night it's the taste of country concert series featuring dirty river boys and money shot Get your ticket information. Get all the details online at keanradio.com. Go check it out. And I'm telling you, you will not be disappointed with the show that you see on Friday night. Marco, <laughs> I, I appreciate yeah, you taking a we're few We're going to give it our all, as we always do. All right. Yeah, the old uh, the old El Paso try is what they may call it, right? <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> right. Marco, thank you so much for your time. Thanks for, uh, thanks for having me.